This is Bernie from Be Present Digital Marketing. Thank you for taking the time to speak to my associate Elizabeth earlier today. In this quick video, we're going to go over three things that you can start doing to beat out your competition, improve your website traffic, and bring in more online customers. Now you may be asking why are we making this video? Well, in our research, we found that a lot of small business owners such as yourself are too busy taking care of your customers and employees, and you just don't have time to learn how the internet works to bring in more customers. We feel the only thing that's stopping you from hiring someone is that you don't know who's an expert and who's not. So we put together these attack plans and we give them away for free. Now some people implement these plans on their own. Some people call us back. Whatever you decide is all good with us. My only goal here is to educate you and to make you more money. Now the three things we're gonna go over, one is gonna be content, the second is gonna be backlinks, and the third is gonna be citations. Now content is anything, any words you might see on your page, on a web page. Now Google likes to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on a home page, depending on the number of keywords needed. A keyword is anything that someone may type into Google looking for a particular product or service. Now these keywords should be placed throughout your web page within the content, telling Google exactly the terms that you want to be ranked for. For example, if you guys were plumbers in Oceanside, you want to have keywords on your website like plumber, oceanside, floods, leaks, uh, etc. This tells Google, who then tells the end users that you exist. So if we take a look at your page here, uh, the first thing I notice is that your page is not secure. So you definitely want to get that because Google trust factor definitely goes down when your page is not secure. So that's the first thing you want to address. Is to really uh, you know have an SSL certificate and have that page secure. And like I said, Google likes to see content. So we take a look at your page here and we can see that you guys have 330 words of content on your homepage. Uh, if we take a look at your next competitor, Anchor Fencing, we can see here's their page here. Um, service areas. They have a lot of pictures here. Um, we can see right now they have 637 words of content. And if I take a look at the next competitor, which is American Roofing and Flags, you can see their page here. Lots of pictures, a little bit of content here. Not a whole lot, but let's just see their word count. 275 words uh, on their page. So I think by adding more content on your homepage, we can easily outrank these guys in an organic search. You definitely want to have about 1,500 to 2,000 words of relevant specific content. For example, if you guys you guys are doing uh, fencing, you know types of fencing that you do, types of products that you do, locations of uh, areas that you do your fencing in. Okay. Now the the next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about something that's called a backlink, and a backlink is anywhere you see a clickable hyperlink from one website to another website linking back to yours. Now these links, they act as an endorsement of your website, which Google then uses uh, to build trust in your business by seeing other businesses voucher yours. So you guys are, are, are fencing guys. Um, you can get backlinks from uh, landscapers who hire you guys to do fences. You can get backlinks from uh, iron companies or, or stuff like that. Um, the internet is literally like a popularity contest. The, the, the website with the most backlinks is going to win. But just keep in mind that every backlink is created equal. So you want to go out there and you want to get relevant backlinks. Uh, you don't want to go out and get a backlink from a company like Domino's Pizza or Pizza Hut because, you know, Google knows that you're not a pizza company um, and that's not relevant to what you guys do. So I use a, to, a paid tool called 8hrefs. Uh, to check backlinks. So if I take a look at your site here, this is your site here, and we can see that right now you got 47 backlinks and 23 work for our domains, and you're being found organically for no keywords, um, no fencing keywords, and no uh, organic traffic on your website. If we take a look at your competitors, uh, we can see here that Anchor Fencing Inc. has 360 uh, backlinks. 24 referring domains, and they're being filed for 122 keywords. And that's bringing them 120 clicks to their website every single month. 
And if we take a look at some of the keywords they're being found for, uh, we can go down this list. Once it's, we can see here, we can see fencing material, Lehigh, Val uh, Lehigh Valley, PA, fencing installation, Lehigh Valley, PA, uh, fencing company in Lehigh Valley, PA, fencing Allentown, PA, uh, Lehigh Valley fencing. These are some of the keywords that you want to have embedded into your website so that way you can generate more traffic. And again, if we take a look at the third competitor, they have about 207 uh, backlinks, 74 referring domains. They're being found for 834 keywords, which is bringing them 376 uh, unique clicks, organic clicks, every single month to their website. So once again, I think by optimizing your page with page structure, um, with uh, content, we can put more keywords on your website, then we can go out and start a backlinking strategy for other companies. Now the third thing we're going to talk about in the last is going to be a citation. Now a citation is anywhere your your name, phone number, and address appears in a directly exactly as it is per your Google My Business page. Citations help you rank in the Google Map Pack which is extremely important for local businesses such as yourself because it brings a huge amount of revenue. The more your citations are, the more directories that you're in, um, the more Google is going to trust you. The idea is for your brand to be found all over the internet, which built, which Google then uses to build trust in your company. So for if I take a, uh, a look here, and we did a, a quick search of Fencing Allentown, PA, we can see that right here is the map pack. And these companies have uh, the highest number of citations. So all fence, all pro fencing, um, if they have 30 citations, you want to go out and get 40 citations, 50 citations. Anchor Fencing Company, again, if they have 50, we want to go out and get 60 or 70 directories, and so on and so forth. Now, what we have here is, a, in this map pack, we have about 40% of the traffic, organic traffic goes here, and about 30% of the organic traffic goes here. And as you can see, uh, second, respectively, is American Fencing and Flags, which... Uh, and then we have the other company here, uh, Anchor Fencing Incorporated, and they're both, you know, the highest ranking organic companies out there. So just again, in recap, you know, what we can do is we can go out there and, uh, you know, get more content on our website, uh, have other companies linking back to our linking our companies. We can go out there and do guest blogs, guest posts, um, but we want to generate that backlinking power so that Google can then see us as an authority in the fencing company in Allentown. And then again, getting into more directories as our competitors. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully it was informative. You can do one of two things with this information. You can actually go out there and implement all these plans on your own. But just keep in mind, it does take some time to get traction. Um, so you want to get started as soon as possible so you can start profiting. Um, but if you feel like you need some help, feel free to give us a call. Our number is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, again, thank you for watching and have a great day.